In this video, we're going to do some quick worked examples of creating a perpendicular bisector of a line and an angle bisector. Let's start off with the line. All I'm going to do is draw a line and we're going to create a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular means that the new line will be at 90 degree right angles to the original line and bisect means that it's going to cut it in half. All we do is take a compass and we put the sharp end at one end of line. I'm now going to open up the compass just past halfway. At this stage, we swing an arc up and then come back round and swing an arc down. Without changing the distance between the sharp end and the pencil, we pick the compass up and move the sharp end to the other end of the original line. What I'm now going to do is swing the arc back up and then back round. So at no point have I changed the distance between the pencil and the sharp end. We then take the compass away and we need to draw with a ruler a line through these two points of intersection. So if I do that, I'm going to end up now with something that looks like so. So all we would do is go ahead and draw that line and this now creates a perpendicular bisector. We can see that this line is cut in half and we can see that this angle is going to be 90 degrees. We must leave the construction marks on. So the pink things are the construction marks and they stay on. If you rub them out, you will be penalized. So that is a perpendicular bisector of a line. Let's look now at an angle bisector. So all I'm going to do is create an acute angle. So if we do that, there's an acute angle. The angle bisector cuts this angle in half. So we're gonna have two equal angles. I'm gonna put the sharp end now at the vertex, or if you like, where these two lines meet. I'm then gonna open up the compass and I'm going to swing an arc. So what we're looking to do is swing an arc so that it passes through both of these lines. Without changing the compass, I'm going to pick it up and move it now to one of the points of intersection with the arc and the line. I'm now going to swing another arc, so all we're going to do is now swing an arc here. At this stage, I pick the compass up and move it to the other point of intersection without changing this distance, and we go ahead and swing another arc. What we're looking for now is this point of intersection. Once I've created that, I get a ruler and a pencil, and I draw through the vertex, like so, and then through the point of intersection, and we have two equal angles. Again, we must leave the construction marks on, and this would be now an angle bisector. If you want, you can go ahead and measure these. They might be slightly different due to human error, but essentially we've cut this angle in half. 